All work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy. Just had this lovely delivery again. One month Jack deer, two ducks, five pheasants, good old Mr Pidge. Now I'm going to prepare all these in a bit but I'm going to take the one duck, one pheasant and this one pigeon and I'm going to do something special. I'm going to do a three bird roast. So if you want to know how you go from this to this then keep watching because it's going to be amazing. As per usual, my trusty pooch in the background lurking, waiting for all the goodies. Six! Come on then, come and have some. As you can see, been a busy boy. Sorted out all these game birds. There's me five pheasants, two ducks, me pigeon. There's the hearts, there's the livers. But these three, these are the star of the show. These are going for my three bird roast. Maybe a four bird roast, yeah. If my mate can get me a woodcock, game on. Anyway. We'll see these a bit later on. Just doing my phone going there. That's my mate. He's got me a partridge. Excellent. Okay, I've just started preparing this four bird roast. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's going to be a four bird roast. As you can see already, I've boned out the pigeon and this is a partridge and I think it will just fit in there. So hopefully we'll have a four bird. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bone out this pheasant and this duck. Over there you can see I've got my chestnuts I've just roasted ready for the stuffing. So what we're going to do, we're going to bone out these and I'll show you how to do it. Right, so what you do is you put your bird breast side down and basically following that backbone all the way down and all you're doing basically is peeling or cutting that skin away. So we all know what a chicken looks like you know when you've carved it up what's left you see the shape of those bones that go in where that leg is just through the ball joint it is easier than you think the only tricky parts are going round these legs but they just pop out like that one has you can see in there and just gently I don't get in the way of the camera ease that meat away. Now you'll see on the pigeon and the partridge I took the wings off and the legs they're really small anyway but I've used them I'm making a stock I've got the bones roasting at the moment in the oven you can see on the camera there we're just following that breastbone down gentle no pressure on the knife obviously we don't want to go through if we can help it you see how clean that is just tracing knife in and we just repeat on the other side so start it this is the trickiest bit is starting it once you've got it started I know it sounds simple for me to say but it really is a piece of cake just take your time tracing it as you can see just finding these joints now there's if I can show you that leg joint in there. I can pull it up with my knife. There it is. Nice and gentle. Around the carcass. Gently easing it so we can start tucking in for that breastbone through that wing joint. Gently, gently, slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. And if you take your time, it should start to look like that. So we loosen that off. And what we got, basically, if I can show you that, is the breasts hanging on to that breastbone knife right in tight to that breastbone and that will go into my stock and what you're left with is your part bones duck I'm going to take them fillets off now 
I'm not sure if I'm going to stuff the duck in the pheasant or the pheasant in the duck. So I'm just going to leave that hole while I bone that pheasant and then I'll make my mind up, you know, if I want to bone the legs out. So I'll bone that and we'll get back. And there, so I'll bone fez. I'm going to take those out. More stock. Lovely. So, I'm going to get my stuffing made and we'll start building this. Right, here's that stuffing for that four bird roast. I've got in this bowl about 50 grams of breadcrumbs or two good handfuls. And what I've done is I've sweated down an onion and a stick of celery. I'm going to put that in. I mean, it's a great way to use up all the stale bread. Just give them a blitz, get them in the freezer. You've always got them. So one onion, one celery, 50 grams of breadcrumbs, 80 grams of ready to eat apricots. I've got a pound of sausage, this is fantastic. You know, if you make your own or go to your butchers, whatever your favorite mince meat is, uh, sausage meat is. In with my chestnuts. With my funky little tool. Zest of an orange. Juice of that orange. Build up those lovely flavours. Oh, nice. And some of this bad boy. You can tell I don't drink brandy, because the top's still on. That's one bottle that's safe in my house. One, two, three. What we do, mix that by hand. And I shall put it in the fridge just to chill down, mix together while we decide which combination we are going to do of the old four bird a roast. Right, just before I put that in the fridge, in, I added a nice big handful of chopped parsley, twist of salt crank some pepper in, one good mush up, can't beat this, takes you back, I mean that looks really nice, I mean you could always take a round of that, pat it out, fry a bit off, see what it tastes like if you wanted to be fussy, but you know, just go with it. Okay, so I've decided what order is going to go. I'm going to put the duck into the pheasant and obviously the partridge into the pigeon, into the duck, into the pheasant. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bone out these legs. I'm gently going to just bone this thigh bone out here first, as you can see. I can just loosen it off. Like that. Give it a snap. And then take the thigh bone. I can go in my stock pot. All we're going to do is gently tunnel bone the drumsticks. So exposing that bone, basically it's like French trimming, just gently turn the drumstick inside out, back the right way. That's our leg. So I've done the thigh bone on this one. It's quite fiddly actually trying to do this on the camera. Trace that bone again. Pick it up, you should be able to get underneath it. Just gently ease it up. I can show you. A bit of reverse French trimming like I said. and pull the bone through, cut it off, turn it back the right way, and there's our duck. Now this is the time, the last time, you have chance to trim up all the bits of funk. Now a bit of blood damage, if you can get that out. Trim it all nice. So I'm gonna trim the duck, trim the pheasant, have a look over the partridge and pigeon and then we will build this beauty. Okay, here's the fun part. Time to build. As you can hear, it's bound it down outside. 
So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take a little bit of this stuff in, first of all, and just line it down the middle of that pheasant. I really would have liked to put the pheasant in the duck purely for the reason of the different colours of meat. You know, I'd like to have gone red meat, the pheasant, the white meat, and obviously the pigeon being uh, red meat as well at the end. So when you cut through, you'd have had that. Three layers, game bird Neapolitan, fantastic. So I put some down there. I'm also gonna put some, just put a bit where the legs were, where we took the bones out of those drumsticks. So I'm just gonna put some in there. Lovely. And then I'm gonna lay my pigeon on, bit in there. This lovely stuff in. I mean it's trial and error. The best thing to do with this is to start building it first, you know, have a couple of dry runs before you put all the stuff in. And that once we fold it over, we can fold it over the tricky bit now we're just going to truss it so I've done a flip I put it back on what would have been its breast and all I'm doing is just trussing it a little bit to get a bit of shape to it just a couple of knots just so it holds its shape with my trusty fantastic bit of kit trussing needle I'm just going to tie just to hold it just before we start putting some strings around it so it doesn't all fall out just go around the back through there see I've left the wings on and the legs so I wanted it to retain a bit of its original shape. So I should carry on just stitching this lovely lucky patient up and we'll flip it over. Right, you've got to admit that's looking pretty cool. I've trussed it round the back, the front. What we're going to do now is put a couple of strings round to hold the legs, a couple of strings over and she's done. Well there's my wee beastie done. Looks fantastic doesn't it? It's absolutely stuffed of meat. You know it's been a labour of love. I love doing these kind of things. It's fantastic. This is just small change. In 1807 a chef he stuffed a busted with a turkey, a goose, a pheasant, a chicken, a duck, a guinea fowl, a teal, a woodcock, a partridge, a plover, a lapwing, a quail, a thrush, a lark, an ortolan, a bunting and a garden warbler. But you know, you've got to start somewhere. So please give this a go. If you don't want to do a four, try a three bird roast or just two. But you've got to give it a go. I'm going to cut this beauty. Thanks for watching.